Hi, welcome back to Summer Devos with Sunset. My name is Christian Thompson, and it is my joy and privilege to be able to be with you today and to, and to continue this devotional series entitled Life Lessons. While thinking on this topic, I've been thinking about how we as a people, we go through various uh, stages of life, right? We go through times where uh, when we're young and we, we learn a lot of these lessons from our parents and we, and we go to college or things like that and we learn from professors and, and other mentors and things like that. And so we, we, throughout our lives, we learn many different lessons from many different people depending on where we are in our lives. For me and my wife, we're learning a lot of lessons from being parents to our three young daughters. A lot of times we are explaining to them that it is our job to teach them, to train them to be godly women one day. And the way that we usually do this is we express to them that they, their goal, our goal for them is to be queens. Right now they're princesses, which isn't the final, which isn't the final process. It is to be queens one day. And in order for that to happen, there's a lot of things, a lot of training that needs to happen along the way. For example, our two-year-old is being trained right now to, to uh, learn how to use the bathroom. Our five-year-old, however, who's been through that process herself, is now learning to be trained and to uh, be taught different, maybe perhaps more difficult things, things like uh, how to clean your room. And so uh, there'll be times when myself or my wife will go to her and say, Cosette, it's, it's time to clean your room. And she'll go into her room and she'll look around and she'll see stacks of, of books not on the bookshelf and her clothes not in the hamper and, and her bed not, a, not made and, and just in a general contents, the toys everywhere. And so as she's looking around and being a bit of a perfectionist like her father, she'll look around and, and she'll start to get overwhelmed. She'll see that there's just too much. And she'll feel, how can I do all this? This is going to take all day long. I can't do this, especially by myself. And so she begins to just become overwhelmed with the task that we have asked of her. And so oftentimes, I or my wife will go in there and we'll, we'll, tell, we'll ask Cosette, well, what is something you can do? Stop looking at the sum of the mess and look at something that you can do. And she'll look around and she says, well, I, I can uh, pick up the books. And so she goes over and she picks up the stack of books and she puts them away. And then she comes back and says, well, what else? Well, again, what's something else that you can do? And she'll go and she'll say, well, I can, I can put the clothes in the hamper. So she'll pick up the clothes and she'll put them in the hamper. And again and again with various things until just moments later, the, the whole room is clean. The whole sum of her mess has been picked up. And it's because she stopped looking at this grand task and started to break down and to do the very little thing that she could do. This reminds me of a story that Jesus told, a parable in Matthew chapter 25, where he says that there is a man who goes on a trip. And this man has three servants. And before he leaves, he gives each servant, each servant uh, coins. He says to the first one, here are five coins. I want you to take this and I want you to go and do business. So when I come back, there's something in return. Not just what I gave you, but something more. And he says the same thing to, this, to the second one. He gives him two, and the last one he gives him one. And it's an amazing thing what he says to both the first and the second servant who go and do the thing he, that he asked. He says, well done, good and faithful slave. You were faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. And he says the exact same thing to the second servant. But to the last servant, he comes to the master and he says, I was afraid. And honestly, I was overwhelmed. And I dug a hole and I put the coin in the ground. I couldn't do it. And he gives the coin back to the master and the master's not happy. You see, in this story, that God or the master expects us to do the thing that is in front of us. 
You know, he tells a very similar story in Luke chapter 19. He, the man has 10 servants and, and he goes to acquire a kingdom. And he comes back and the first servant says, you have given me one coin, I have given you 10 more back. And the master's response is this, uh, well done, good slave, because you have been faithful in a very little thing. You are able to be an authority over 10 cities. You see, this is a very little thing. Oftentimes we look at this big picture. We look at, uh, for months now we've been on lockdown or, or society, there's social injustices that are going around in our, in our culture and in our world. And we look at all these things and we think, how can we change this? How can we impact the world? And the reality is that God hasn't asked us to. The reality is that God's asked us to be faithful with the thing that's in front of us, to be faithful with the little thing. Now, I'm not saying don't go and make a big impact and change the world. Absolutely go and do those things. But the way that that happens is by being faithful to what God has put in front of you today. To be faithful with the little things. Because from there, we are able to make a big impact. From there, like the man in the story, you are now able to have authority over something more than you could have ever imagined. But it starts with being faithful with the little things. Much like my daughter, I feel like many of us often look at the sum of our mess or the sum of the mess that's going around us and we become overwhelmed. My challenge for you and my challenge for me today is that instead of looking at everything, Let's look at what's right in front of us. Let's look at the thing that God has placed in our lives right now, today, and let's be faithful to that. Let's be faithful to the little things. God bless.